These are the user settings. If you don't know how to get here, please see the first video in the series um, to open the app and uh, log on to the remote settings and access this page. In this video, I'm going to go through some typical settings that you can set up in your remote settings depending on which tariff you're on so you can get the best out of your system. So this is just going to cover basic charge times, basic discharge times and charging from the grid. The first example is if you use your solar and your battery to power the house loads 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and you don't charge the battery from the grid. Let's have a look at the settings required to implement this. Firstly, make sure your work mode is set to self-use. Once you've set the work mode to self-use, you're going to proceed into the settings and type in the 000 code to get into the basic user settings. From there, you're going to go into the self-use menu and make sure that charge from grid is disabled because we don't need to charge from grid in this instance. After that, you're going to go into the charge and discharge periods. We don't want to do any force charging because you're not going to charge from the grid. So both the start time and the end time can be left at zero. But what you do need to do is set the allow discharging period times. And you need to set the start period to 12 o'clock, 0000, and set the end period to 2359. And all this will do is not charge from the grid because there are no charging periods and we switched it off, but it'll allow discharging 24 hours a day, seven days a week from the battery. And the battery will just power the house loads. It won't discharge to the grid. This second example demonstrates if you're on a, an Eco 7 tariff, for example, or at least an off-peak tariff where you get a cheap charging time. Um, so we're going to set up charging the battery between 2 o'clock and 5 o'clock in the morning and all of the rest of the time we're going to be in self-use mode using powering the home from solar and battery power. From your remote settings, make sure that the work mode is set to self-use and click save. Click into the uh, basic settings and type the 0000 for user settings code. Click on the self-use category and make sure that charge from grid is set to enable and click save. Moving down to the discharge period, set the force charge start time to two o'clock. That's when the battery will start charging off peak and set the end time to five o'clock. That's when the charge end time will stop for your uh, off peak time. Um, the allowed discharge period still needs to be from midnight to 23.59, um, which means that all of the times the battery will be used to power the house loads. Make sure you click save against each item that you save. The charge times and the discharge times can overlap. You can see that they do overlap. Um, but all that means is that the charge period will take precedence and as soon as it's finished, it will go back to the discharge period. In the next example, imagine you're on um, an off-peak tariff such as Octopus Flux um, and you want to partially charge your battery to let's say 50% between two and five o'clock in the morning um, so that the solar can then charge the battery in the daytime. And then you only want to use the battery between four o'clock and seven o'clock in the afternoon. Um, this is an instance where your battery is maybe quite small and you want to save it for the expensive peak times of energy. From the main remote settings screen, check your work mode and make sure self-use is the work mode and click save. When you've done that, go into setting, type in the user code of 0000 and click OK. Click in the self-use option and what you're going to do is enable the charge from grid because you do want it to charge at your off-peak times of two o'clock to five o'clock. Remember to click save against every setting that you change. Now you don't want to charge to 100%, you're only going to charge to 50% and leave the rest up to solar to charge in the day. So you're going to enter 50 into the charge battery two box and then click save. That's all you need to do for self-use. Move down to the charge and discharge periods. 
Now we're going to force charge to the 50% between 2 o'clock and 5 o'clock because it's the flux tariff. Um, so set 2 o'clock for your start time, 5 o'clock for your end time. And uh, this time we're going to change the discharge period. So you want to save your battery until the peak times at 4 o'clock. So pick 4 o'clock for the start time and click save. And you want to uh, stop the battery discharge at 7 o'clock. So we can set the end time to 7 o'clock and click save. And that's now set up to charge up to 50% battery from 2 to 5 in the morning and uh, only discharge the battery to the house loads between 4 o'clock and 7 o'clock in the afternoon. Thank you very much for watching. See you on the next video.